Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the epic Fantastica, Planet of Lana. This was developed by Wishfully, published by Thunderful Games and is usually available for £16.99 slash $19.99 but it's included with Xbox Game Pass so get it, get it good. Now this is an indie game to behold, it's an absolute blast as we play as Lana who has to embark on a bit of a journey to find her sister who's been kidnapped by giant robots, as of course that would usually happen. Um, we need to keep this planet looking mighty fine. But this has some awesome puzzles and enemies and is overall just a really enjoyable experience. As for achievements, the majority are story related, plus we've got to find all 10 shrines. Two levels have two in them and the others just have one, so it's not too bad. The main stick in the pig is we have to beat the game without dying. Luckily, and thanks to the devs for this one, if you do die, you can simply replay the chapter, you're on and go again. It's not like Limbo where you have to go through the whole thing. Also, if you think you're not going to make a jump or get killed by an enemy, you can quickly press pause, reload the last checkpoint and go, go on again, saving you more minutes from replaying chapters and the achievement will still unlock. So all in all, depending on how many deaths you pop up with, and for me it was quite a few, in all fairness, we are looking at around 3-4 to four hours for the full 1k. So, with that being said then, let's do it! Now, what you have just seen me do there is go into accessibility menus and turn the quick time events off. Now, the quick time events in this game, there's only 3, yeah, there's only 3 in the game anyway, uh, in later chapters as we begin a new game. Um, but... I just choose it, I just uh, turn the quick time events off, like I said, they're easy enough, so if you want to keep them on, that's uh, completely up to you, I decided to turn them off, just because if you do end up messing up one of the quick time events, pretty much that means you die, and then you'll have to effectively replay the whole chapter again, so I just thought it would be easier to not have to have that little extra, extra, extra added pressure. Uh, so that's why I've turned the quick time events off. Again, up to you completely what you want to do. They, they are easy enough, but, you know, the less added pressure is fantastic. Right. There we go. All they do is shout each other's names. They don't actually talk about anything else, but we are Lana. And a little fun fact, if you spell Planet of Lana backwards, it's ten up for a... Never mind. Uh, never mind, we'll uh, we'll skip that one. Right, so you can press the left trigger to crouch, of course, the left stick to move, the A button to jump, and that is what we'll effectively be doing for the rest of the game. And I have a couple of new mechanics in it as well. So obviously, uh, all we're doing for now is following Ela. Sounds like a Wally, doesn't it? Eva. But yeah, so this is obviously just a tutorial. So you just need to jump across. Now, when you do jump across like that, always give yourself a bit of a uh, running start. Because if you just try to jump from the edge, you ain't going to make it. And as you could just see, we fall in the water this time, but usually that would result in death. I.e. replaying the chapter again to get the no death achievement, which is always fun. <clears throat> anyway, so for now, all we're doing is following El Sisteroni, Pepperoni, and uh, yeah... Yep, just, uh, yep, 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 that's about it. So I'm not sure if this counts as a death, but we basically have to just sneak past the chef. It's, uh, you know, it's fairly obvious what we got to do then. There goes Pepperoni Head, uh, our sister. Ela. So obviously just press the left but uh, left trigger to keep crouching. Wait until she turns back and starts chopping some potatoes and then make a break for it. Again, remembering to keep crouching and that should be good. Again, I'm not entirely sure if that does count as a death. So, uh, you know, best to just do it first time and not get caught if you can. But anyway, that'll be our first achievement of the game then, Sneaky Sisters. And then we just continue onwards. So again, you're just going to be jumping, hopping, skipping, ducking, dodging, and diving your way through. So 
So this is the first sort of introduction to a puzzle. It's a very easy puzzle. So drop down. What you need to do is press the X button to hold on. Keep hold of it. Drag it all the way to the left. And then as soon as you let go, jump up and then jump up to the left. So let go, jump up, jump to the left. No! And there we go. Job done. Then all we're going to do is crouch through the cave. Have a little chat with our sister where she's all like, Ela. Lana, let's spell her names backwards. <laughs> no, no, let's not do that. And then, uh, yeah, then the fun stuff begins. Because, as always, on planet Earth, we've had millions of robot and alien invasions, haven't we? Hmm, are we the bad guys? Or are they the bad guys? Either way, leave us alone! <sighs> <laughs> Lana <laughs> Ela Dun, dun, dun. Green giant, or robot in these cases. So uh, this is obviously, with it still being the first chapter, uh, remember, we shall try not to die, but we're going to be introduced to sort of the sneaking mechanics, um, the tall grass uh, where we can sneak and hide and run through and stuff. Obviously we can't uh, kill these enemies, but we can simply sneak by. Um, one thing you get, like, obviously what I said in the intro was, with the enemies, what will happen is, um, you'll see like a cone, sort of, you know, like the Metal Gear Solid uh, cone. So if they catch you, they'll turn red and go towards you. So if they, if one of these enemies does uh, see you and makes a beeline for you, that is when you can press the start button and uh, reload the last checkpoint. So it's a bit trickier to do it with jumping, the timing. Uh, but this is the first one then, so, like, that's what I mean by the cone. Uh, if you're out of the blue cone, of course, you can, uh, you ain't gonna get spotted, so just hide in the tall grass here on the ground, wait until he goes to the left, jump up, and jump to the right. So, the, there'll be a few different types of enemies, uh, they, you, you'll just get used to them, uh, very quickly. Uh, but we're gonna drop down again. But again, yeah, so that is the major thing that I can tell you with the no-death achievement. If you, if an enemy tries, if an enemy sees you and he comes towards you, quickly reload the last checkpoint. That'll just save you having to replay a chapter later on. Um, which I had to do oof, six separate times and twice on the very last uh, chapter as well, which was painful for me. But anyway, uh, there's these spider ones. Uh, they literally pretty much just go left and right. They don't have a cone, but if they if you're in the same direction that they're in, they will obviously come for you and be all like, death and stuff. Uh, but anyway, all we're doing for the time being is just swimming to the right, walking up to the right. We're gonna make a uh, we're gonna crouch here, and then we are going to eventually come up to another uh, another Mr. Skinny Legs robot. Well, there this one is, but uh, he's actually all good. So you can just continue on to the right. By the way, I'm going to say continue to the right so much in this game that it's going to give me nightmares when I go to bed. Uh, so again, just continue <laughs> to the right and see all your family and friends get kidnapped. Hooray! Ha <laughs> ha. 
So, coming up to another cheeky flying cone enemy, just wait until he goes up and above the shed where you're at right now. As soon as he does that and you're out of line, jump across to the next side. You may fall in and that's fine, just fine. You can just um, press the A button to jump back up. Uh, as I said, again, as I said last time, I will say it if the enemy sees you, but he doesn't catch you, quickly reload the last checkpoint. Checkpoints are very generous in this game, but the chapters are roughly bet anywhere between 10 to 20 to 25 minutes long, so yes, sometimes can be ams painful. Right, so uh, we've got a new little mechanic here, you need to hold the X button and press the left on the left stick. And that'll obviously pull off some boards. We'll have to do this quite a few times. Wait until he nips off up there. And then crouch under. And then we can just drop straight down and crouch under again. See? Easy times. Right, we got a Mr. Skinny Legs robot right now. A little spiderino. So what we're going to do, we're just going to wait for him to turn to the right. There we go. And then make a break for it. Stay under here. And then as soon as he goes to the left, like he's just done, then you can climb up. Uh, should be good for time. And even if they do catch you, or even if they do see you, as long as you're crouched underneath something, the spiders can't actually get you there. So that's why it's all pretty good there. Um, um, yeah, so otherwise we can just drop straight into the water and continue on our merry way. Because yes, sometimes the timing can be quite tight, but again, if you're far enough away from an enemy, you can just make it to the other side, which is grande. So pull the boards off again, X, uh, hold X, and of course press left stick on the left, press left on the left sticks, so that's what I was going for, and then continue on your merry way. So we're going to have to climb up a rope now, um, now as is the usual in every game, more or less you can jump onto the next platform very easily, but sometimes you'll have to move left, move right, move left and move right just to gain a bit of momentum. Um, you know, everyone knows how a rope works, right? Yeah, so you should be good. Um, uh, <laughs> otherwise, once again, just continue. Go, go. My precious. By the way, at the time of this recording, uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum's coming out tomorrow. And I've heard no hype or anything for it. So, uh, if you've played Lord of the Rings Gollum, um, let me know how it is. Because I'm sort of in between, in between the, uh, oohs and ahs of that at the minute. But otherwise, uh, this game will uh, <laughs> it'll fulfill us all. It'll fill us like an absolute cream pie. Mm, scratch that one. La, 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 la. And there it is. Again, we'll say it backwards. The ten up for... Uh, no, let's not do that one. The Planet of Lana. Again, try not to um, speak it backwards because you'll get banned from something. I don't know. Still, here it is. Planet of Lana. Reminds you of games such as Limbo, Planet Alpha, and uh, Little Nightmares and the such and the stuff. So on to chapter 2 then, we would have got the other achievement there for surviving the invasion. Congratulations! Um, now again, obviously a lot of um, any of these cutscenes are unskippable, which is great if you're looking at it first, because obviously this game is just very, very pretty. But if you haven't replayed the chapters a couple of times for whatever particular reason, oh, the unskippable cutscenes can get on your nips quite a bit. Uh, so just munching the grass like an absolute uh, cowbag for now. Mm. Um, otherwise, we are just going to continue to the right for the time being.
So we're coming up to our first sort of enemy of this chapter. He's not quite a man, he's not quite a bear, he's not quite a pig. Uh, so to answer your question, I don't know who this is. Uh, but we will call them man bear pigs, just because. Man bear pigs kids. So what we need to do then, we need to wait until man bear pig goes to the left, drop down and hide in the grass. Because you won't have enough time to mosey on through. Wait until he go uh, goes to the left, far left as he can, and then make a break for it in the right. Hide in this little bit of grass again. And just again, as soon as he starts turning around to the left. Ta-da! Make a break, and you got it good. Right, we're going to be going down a little slippery slope here. Make sure to jump at the end, though, because you will die a perishable death. So, again, just be careful with that one. Again, like I said, if at any time you don't feel confident about making a jump, or if you think you uh, won't make it or whatever, just quickly reload the checkpoint. Otherwise, uh, at any point if you die, you will just... Um, and again, I found it easier just to replay the chapter rather than go through the rest of the game and then have to replay it later. While it's fresh in your mind, eh? While it's fresh in your mind. Right, grab this box, put it in the middle here, and then what you're going to do is climb up in the box, climb to the left. Uh, you will actually have to jump on it, so uh, <laughs> let's just try it again. <laughs> so there we go, until it all falls down, that's good. Drag this box then over to the left. And then what you're going to do is jump up on here and jump to the left again. Ta-da! What, what a girl. What a jumping bean. Uh, bring this box down. And pew, somehow we do not break our ankles um, during this part for whatever particular reason. Even though she does die off smaller falls than that. But there we go. Uh, drag the next box or the right box that we had all the way back into the middle. And then what we're going to do is go to the left and drag this box back on to the lift. So once that's done and all on and you're all good, jump up onto the next box to the right and then you can jump up to the right again and then jump up to the right again. Of course, we have successfully completed this puzzle. Woo! Only a whole crap load more to go. We got this. So again, continue on to the right. Now when I say obviously continue to the right, you know, a lot of it will just be like scenes like this. Uh, but there will obviously be jumps that you have to make as well. So. Don't think that it's all just, you know, pretty sights. There will be some falls and there will be some jumps you have to do. So always pay attention. Anyway, uh, here is the next man bear pig. Uh, what we're going to do is drop down when he turns to the right. And then when he sees you, pull yourself up. There we go. And that'll uh, knock him unconscious for a bit. Then we can just immediately head to the right and jump over. And he will fall to an absolutely horrific baconized, sausageized death. So, drop down. You should be good. You shouldn't uh, die from any of these falls just yet. And uh, that little mechanic right there, I will explain in just a bit. But what we're going to do is continue heading to the left, past the old bacon sausage kid. And this is where our first shrine is. So, about half of these shrines are very easy to find. The, and about half of them are... Well, they're a bit tricky sometimes. But of course, that's why I'm on hand, to help you guys out. So there's the first one. When we've done that, we can grab the um, now baconated pepper pig over to the what look like yellow flowers. We'll just call them yellow flowers. Um, and what we'll do, we'll leave him there, and that will <laughs> bing. That is like you have just seen your uh, significant other in the nude, and then we can climb up on said um, popping thing. Eek. And then uh, that just basically acts obviously as a little platform for us to jump up. So that's all good. That's an easy mechanic. So you're going to see a lot of those pingings uh, throughout the game. Huh? 
So this is going to be our little companion friend uh, for the rest of the game, but we're going to rescue him first. So drop down, and then what we're going to do is drag the box over to the right. And you can see just on the left there, the little blue panel is basically an electrical panel. And the switch is a switch. So, you know, interact with the switch. Turn it over to the right. That will open that up. Mui will escape. Well, well obviously I already know his name. His name is Mui. So, kind of like a, um, just a pet version of Maui. What can I say except meow, 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 when you're staring at a demi-cat? Uh, give me milk. Give me stuff. I want to scratch your face, etc, etc, because that's all cats do, isn't it? They scratch you when you're sad, and they scratch you when they're happy. Uh, that's what a cat's all about. Oh, I don't know, it kind of looks like a like a fatter, blacker version of Pikachu, in all fairness. Imaki! <laughs> So, as you've just seen there, Mui does like to help you out, and we will be getting his help for the uh, rest of the game in terms of he can kick ropes down for us, and he can jump up to high places where we can't get to, etc. So, uh, we're going to fall down anyway. Again, incredibly not shattering anything. But we need to head to the left, head inside, and then what we're going to do is make a jump and just break straight through underneath. And then we should be uh, golden chicken nuggets for the time being. So now we're going to have to pull off a couple more boards, use that incredible anal Atlanta strength. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, autocorrect in real life, it's a hell of a thing. And then when we've done that, we can just continue on, and we're going to... Um, again, Mui's going to help us there, so thank you, Demi-Cat. What can I say except... Wow! Alright, cats, jeez. So a few jumps just coming up then, the, the screen will get smaller, it'll dash out, and then we just got to obviously make a couple of jumps here. So again, just be careful and be aware of your surroundings. Do not die. So, spider licking good, spider chicken licking. Uh, so, what we're going to do, we're going to wait for a moment. Okay, continue just to hide in the tall grass. Uh, we'll just wait for him to come back left. And then as soon as he turns right, again, he can't hear you. So, even if you're running or jumping, he can't hear you. He can only just look at you. So, immediately crouch down into the grass anyway. And then he's going to turn back around. And he's like, oh, what is this now? And then he's just going to turn back around. Once he does, what we're going to do is grab the box and push it all the way to the right. You won't have enough time to jump up, so just uh, head back into the grass there. And then, again, once he turns around, like now, quickly jump up on top of the box and then jump to the right. And again, you should then have enough time. You should be fine because you can crouch under, so even if he catches you, like he just did there, he will not be able to get you. Unlucky, skinny boy. Skinny boy. Right, we do have to be careful at timing as well, because Mui can die as well, which will obviously void the achievement. So, when the spider's there... Um, oh, in fact, you should be good, actually. Yeah, just make sure he was as far right as possible. Um, otherwise... <laughs> loser! You're a loser! And I am the wiener. Right, so we can climb up the rope and head on through. Uh, 
And there we go, that's the game end. Lana dies, job done. Happy days, look. That's uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, she didn't get very far in saving her sister, did she? <laughs> anyway, this is just a dream sequence. Pretty much, uh, it's exactly the same as we'd done it the first time when we went through the village and then we went through this little grassy part. You'll have to do the little log puzzle as well when you get to the other side, as in drag the logs to the left, quickly jump up, and then go ahead and speak to your sitter once again. Welcome then to the third chapter of your life. Now what we're going to do is press the left trigger, press the X button as well, and that'll give your little fat Pikachu a little purry purr. Uh, brrr. And there we go. Uh, you only have to pet him once. You can pet him as many times as you want, but uh, once is enough. So on to chapter three we go. Uh, you'll also get a new achi uh, an achievement called a new friend. That should have actually unlocked in chapter two, but for some reason that achievement uh, took a while to unlock. Some of these story-related achievements may either take a while to unlock or they will just bug out. Uh, for instance, I had to replay the whole of chapter seven because one achievement, story-related progression achievement, didn't unlock for me. So um, yeah, so if that happens, it's literally just a case of having to replay the chapter, unfortunately. Uh, so again, for now, it's just having a look at the uh, prettiness that is this game. And continue on until something happens. Nya nya. Where we can start using a uh, little Mui. Uh, so what you can do, you can press the B button to stop. So you'll need to get them to stop on these yellow flowers. So sometimes it can be a bit finicky, uh, but if you press and hold the B button, he will be able to follow you. And um, yeah, so the B button to stop and then hold the B button to follow. Make sure that you've got your little pinger out there, and you can jump across to the other side. Um, Stay on these flowers yourself and then hold the B button and Mui will come. Now, after every little interaction like that, you'll always have to get Mui to follow you because he won't do it automatically. Just as a little bit of a little bit of a thought thing right there. Uh, so again, what you're gonna do here is get Mui to stop on the yellow flowers where we are. Come on, man! Step on the goddamn flowers. Right, spanky hairy crutch. Right, uh, jump across to the other side. And then you are going to stand on the yellow flowers yourself. And then we can go ahead, recall Mui. The old, uh, the old Demi-Cat. And we are going to get Mui to uh, stop on these next set of flowers. We're going to get Mui now stopping. Come on, damn it! 
There we go, thank you. Right, be careful here. Drop down, just uh, use the left stick down to drop down, and then right on the very edge, jump over. If you weren't on the very edge of jumping over, you will fall to your death right there. I know, because that's what I did. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so you've got to be careful with that one. Um, we can't actually recall Mui just yet. What we're going to do is head up here. We're going to head to the left and then climb the rope. So, uh, yes. So, obviously, with a lot of these, uh, and then if we go to the left, we need to pull off a couple of boards, and then we can recall Mui. So, with a lot of these sort of um, death hanging edges and these cliffs, sometimes it's better to just sort of drop, you know, drop yourself down very carefully, rather than just jump straight off. And again, you do that by pressing down on the left stick. Right, onwards we go. And we're coming up to another new mechanic. So if you um, press the right trigger and move it with the left stick, you can put a place, um, and then if you press the A button, you can point to where Mui can go. So what you need to do, sometimes it's a bit finicky, but, uh, but what you need to do is get him to go up, and then you need to press the Y button to use Mui's actions, which will be to drop the rope down for us. And then, well, you 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 took Jim in you took Jim in high school. You know how to climb rope, right? So once that's done, then what we're going to do? Um, obviously, get Mui to follow you. Just jump across to t'other side. And this is where the tutorial of um, hanging down is. So you press down, uh, down on the left stick, down on the left stick again, and then left on, uh, right on the left stick, and then press the A button to do like a little wall jump. Uh, there won't be too many times we'll need to do a wall jump in the game, but you know, it's good that you know. The more you know, GI Joe. That was the slogan, right? So uh, anyway, we're gonna drop down. We're gonna crouch now to the right. So we're going to need to be careful here. This is actually another part where uh, where Mui can die, and Demi Cat's are not supposed to die, but apparently this one he can. So the big rock in the middle there is a monster, and he will easily kill Mui. He's very slow, so you can just continue to the right, crouch under, make sure Mui's well under, and then what you need to do is just get him to stay there. Um, so as you can see, the rock doesn't look like much, but well, when he gets his legs going, god damn. So anyway, make sure Mui stays there. He will stay there. And then we can just jump up onto this uh, rock platform, jump it up again. And then what we're going to do is take a big run and jump over onto the rock onto the other side. There we go. So that's us. Nice and safe. So just call, recall Mui. And then what he should do, he should have more than enough time to jump up to the left, jump onto the rock's head. And we are good to go. Puzzles coming out of your nuzzles, I know. So anytime we see wires with a little bit of yellow in it, like so, we can get Mui to bite it. Again, with the Y button, because, you know, he's a cat, and the, all, he, the, all cats like to do is scratch, crap, and bite. That's, that's, that's effectively the life of a cat. Oh, and eat as well. Uh, so what we can do, again, we're going to press the right trigger, and make sure that Mui goes underneath here. What you'll do is you'll get a little ping-ping out. A little, oh, hey, darling, what's going on? Damn. You're looking good. Uh, one of those things. And then once that's done again, make sure to recall Mui by holding the B button. Right, so what we're going to do now, again, make sure you have got Mui recalled. We'll drop down to the left, and then what we need to do now is point Mui to the little hole that you can see right there. There we go, so he's coming. Come on, there he goes. Come on, Demi Cat. So just get him again, press the A button. Obviously, hopefully, you've gotten sort of used to that by now. And then press the Y button. What he'll do is pop up the other side, and that'll get our little friend pinging out right there. And then we can just jump across to the other side nice and safely. Right, so what we can do now is we can recall Mui once we are standing on the flowers. Again, make sure you are actually stood on them, because if, again, if Mui dies, 
you'll have to replay the chapter. If any of you two die, replay the chapter or reload your last checkpoint if possible. Right, any up here, there is going to be another one of these uh, monsters coming up in just a bit. Um, but we've got a little bit of uh, electriconocution puzzles to crack on with then. Electriconocution. First of all, though, we're going to head to the left when we get up here, and we're going to find our second shrine out of ten in just a bit. <laughs> just after we grab this cart, jump over to the left. And uh, we're going to point Mui there. Sorry, uh, we're going to point Mui to the edge. Get him to not bite anything yet, and here is the second shrine. So make sure to interact with that, and then we are good to go. So yes, of course, you will get achievements for every shrine that you find, so we can just jump up now. Now we can get Mui to bite the rope. Uh, I mean, you could have done it earlier if you wanted, it doesn't make a difference, you can still grab the shrine. And grab this cart and just pop it all the way over to the right. So you can see the blue panels. What that does, if you put something on all of the panels, the electricity turns off. And then of course, if nothing's on there, or if it's not on there fully, the electricity will remain on. So you jump up as Lana Del Rey. And then we are going to drop down. Get Mui to the electrical socket right after you pull off the boards. But again, do not press the Y button to use it because you'll die a pretty horrific death, one can assume. So just keep him there, but don't press the Y button just yet. What you need to do is jump up, climb over, put the cart on the actual electrical panel itself. That'll turn it off. Now you can press the Y button and that'll bite that one like a bitten bag boy bed bug big flea. And then we can just go ahead and use this as a platform. Hooray! Hola! Don't forget to call your boy. You're Mui man, let's go. And then onwards. Right, obviously make sure to jump here. You're not going to be wanted to be falling down the biggest gap in the history of the universe. Oh, you know, I'm sure there was a your mama and a Grand Canyon joke in there somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so now we're coming up to one of our spiderling chicken leg friends. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hide, continue to hide in this grass and that basically means, uh, uh, someone's here. When he goes to the right, drop down, and then he can just continue on. Um, when he goes to the left, then you should be good to jump up and carry on right. <laughs> you can't get me because I am Queen Lana. And again, don't say that backwards, Queen A. Oh, Jesus. Right, anyway, uh, again, like I said, with the right trigger, use it to point upwards, and then Mui can drop down a rope for us. ka -chow. Hola, Mui. Oh damn, that looks crashed, and that doesn't look good. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much what this game is about. We will do a little bit of a walk-in section, then we come up to another puzzle or an enemy, and then a bit of a walk-in section, and then come up to another puzzle or enemy, and then do another walk-in section, and then come up to another puzzle or enemy. You know, it's, it's pretty much that type of game. So when I stop talking, it means we are just enjoying the views, you know? Right, so we're going to drop down, uh, coming up to another little puzzle. So we're gonna do. We're gonna drag this pit, uh, these bits of logs or wood or whatever, all the way to the right. Obviously, then we can just jump up and continue to climb up. So it wasn't that much of a puzzle, actually. In fact, that was a non-existent puzzle. <laughs> I'll try again in a minute. 
As it turns out, this time is now. We need to make sure to get Mui to stay there. We just walked past one of those big rock monsters that can kill Mui, so that's why we're keeping him over onto the left. We're going to clamber up, uh, continue um, to jump up onto the little bridge part or whatever. And, I mean, basically, he's just like a heftier graveler, isn't he, or a golem. Geodude. Uh, pull these. We're going to be coming up to another shrine, actually, now as well. So pull off the boards. Uh, climb under. Make sure to jump up, but do not push the box off just yet. Do not push the box off. What we're going to do, we're going to climb on top of the box. If we jump up again, uh, somewhere... There it is. There's like a little hang ledge that we can actually jump up and climb onto. And there's the next shrine. Oh yes. Tastes so good. Like a finger licking KFC. But that should be shrine 3 out of 10. And again, we will get the achievement for that. As soon as we back out, you can hear the rareness come in. <gasps> there it is. Jesus. See what I mean? The... The little delay really craps us up, doesn't it? Right, now we can drop the box down. Push it all the way as far as you can over to the right. Then what we're going to do is actually just call Mui. Hola. So, again, obviously hold the B button. He can, Again, the, the, the Geodude Graveler Golem monsters, he's too small. Uh, too slow, so he won't be caught. Uh, but that'll get us enough time to pop the box over and climb up to the right again. Right, so again, then we're going to get Mui here to help us out. What we need to do is point him up to the yellow flowers on the top. La la. Lana acting like a clock or something with her hands then. Uh, once he uh, gets down, that is when your pinger will ping off. And we can just basically climb onto it and then continue to the right again. Continue to the right again. Jesus Christ, do my own voice in now. <laughs> well, at least we've only got, you know... Two and a bit hours left of me telling you to go to the right continuously. Make sure to call Mui as well. I kept forgetting to do this. I don't think he died, but better to be safe than sorry. Up next on HBO, HBC, HBO, whatever. Anyway, it's a spider monster. There he is, so make sure to be remaining into the grass. And then what we are going to do is he's going to turn around and we need to basically get Mui as bait now. So get Mui into the second patch of grass with you. And then what you need to do is actually point to the hole um, just here. We, we were in, we were, we were in, in the second patch of grass. And then what you're going to do, wait again until the spider turns around, then press the Y button, he will jump up. As soon as the spider turns around, sp robot spider turns around, press the Y button again. And then, w again, make sure to follow him as well, so hold the B button to get him to follow you, and then we can continue on. Hide in this next patch of grass as well. It was a bit of an edit, because I messed up big time. Uh, what you need to do is just, again, we're going to point um, up, but we need to wait until the spider is now going to the left. Now we can put him up. Because otherwise Mui will be seen. That's why there was a little edit cut. Uh, don't go under here. Go to the right. As soon as he sees you. Now, then we can go under. Then press the Y button to drop the logs down on the spider. And that is death. Death confirmed. Hola, Mui. So after this cutscene, for the love of God, do not do what I did the first time and jump straight off. This is the end of the chapter and you will die. You need to hang off, so again, by pressing down on the left stick. 
and then drop down again, and then wall jump over to the other side. I decided to, incredibly, jump across. It is literally the end of the chapter, and I died, and I had a bit of a temper tantrum, like a little baby girl. Because um, <laughs> I messed it up right at the very end, so I had to replay it. But that's why we do what we do. So, welcome to Chapter Forno, buongiorno. Uh, this is the darkest, it's a, very, it's a very dark one, even if you put up the brightness, it's still pretty dark. So we head to the right, and then what we're going to do is stand on these uh, these lights effectively. You need to get Mui to stay on these lights, so again, just get him staying there. And then we can just carry on and light the way up a bit. Again, remember to watch out for gaps, as you can see there. So there are a few gaps, which you do need to be careful of. It's very easy to slip, fall, and die. Uh, so just keep dropping up, <laughs> dropping up, jumping up, stand on this next one, and then we're actually going to call Mui. Come on, Demi-Cat. What can I say except I scram you right in the goddamn face. So what we need to do now is go to the left, and what you can see is probably just, just you can probably see it as a hanging rope. It's on the gap, so you need to run and jump, and then you need to climb up for the best hidden shrine in the entire game so that one is very very well hidden um but yes so that will be shrine number four so again just be careful of the gap obviously don't fall down because <laughs> one that'll hurt and two you'll be dead so uh once that one is done shrine number four again very well placed and again and i that's another thing that i enjoy about this game as well Parts of these games are challenging, but not too challenging, but not extremely easy, where it's just, you know, pissing simple. So, uh, drop down the rope anyway. Again, do not fall all the way down. Make sure to climb, clamber yourself over to the right, and then we can continue on. So, yes, this will light up the way ever so slightly. Jump over the gaps whenever you see them, like there. And then we're going to be coming up to another part. So, call Mui again, and get him to stand on these bits of lights for us. And as we continue right, there's another gap. So again, just be careful. Jumpity jump. Flumpity flump. Another gap will be coming. No, it won't. Um, in fact, what we need to do now is get Mui to go into this uh, little cave where we can't get in. Uh, again, Mui's going to light up the way for us. Oh, that's fantastic. Then a rope will appear. Then we can just jump up and continue. Be careful here again, there's just a couple of smaller platforms we need to jump on. And we're coming up to a new little monster. So what we're going to do is not go down to the ground. There's, there's, on the right hand side you can see there's a hairy little massive spider. And you don't want that running at you, because look at the state of it. Jesus, it's making my butthole close right now. With fright. Uh, but what we need to do, anyway, uh, we need to get Mui to sta um, to just jump across to the other side. That's what we need him to do. Because um, he is on a switch. So, right next to it, then, is a little electric switch. So what you need to do is climb down the rope. Wait until the spider sees you. Climb up. And uh, what we're going to do, then is pull the crystal on and he won't actually go through the crystal because spiders are scared of light because they're winners so we can just drop down and continue on to the right don't worry he will not be able to get you um but just climb up go to the left we're gonna take off the boards so kachow use that massive uh queen lana steroid strength and then what we can do, we can just jump across to the other side, get Mui to follow us again. And then we need him, we need to point upwards so he can kick a rope down for us. Be careful though, because obviously if you do fall, the sp because there's no light, the spider can be quite close to you. So make sure you grab onto the rope and don't fall to the floor. Otherwise, that am's death defied. Eek.
Right, so we're coming up to a pretty immovable door, but luckily, because we've got our little fat Pikachu Demi-Cat friend, we can point him right up to the top of the door, get um, the old Pika-Cat to open it up with a Y button, and that's, uh, yeah, that's a nice easy puzzle. So this is pretty much just a sort of walking right section, but what you're going to see is obviously these bits of green lights uh, that will just be appearing on every time you walk over one, so it sort of lights up the way a bit again. A uh, bit of story stuff going on. Um, there's no gaps, I'm pretty sure there is no gaps, in fact it's all just walking and crouching and jumping up ropes and swinging and such. So then there's a decent little puzzle that we're going to do in the end and we're basically with this, if you have a look at the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner, they are what looks like benches and little dots by the side of them. Um, now I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I'll obviously tell you the answers, it should always be the same anyway. But for the next puzzle, what you would have to do is write these down or take a picture on your, you know, take a picture or something of them. Um, and then obviously you'd have to put them in the correct um, place, but obviously again, we're not going to bother with that. Uh, now this is the puzzle, what looks like benches with a bunch of dots by them. So the next clue is in the top, very top left hand corner. So that's where we're going to go, we're going to climb up. Mm. Yeah, that's that, That's a good, uh, that's a good Lana noise that one. Uh, so what we are going to do is light up this way, we're going to keep Mui here as well. And then we can uh, go back down to the right, and then as you see, there is the next clue. So it looks like a bench with a box on it with the four dots or whatever. Again, I'll just show you exactly what it is if you're being confused or anything. And then as we drop down here, if you the next and last clue is just behind these piles of logs right there. So, um, yeah, if you've written them down and you're good to go, that's all great. If not, and you're just waiting for me to tell you the answers, that's also fantastic as well. So let's go for it. So this for this bottom right one then, what we're going to do, we are going to drag it um, all the way to the right. No, in fact, we're going to drag it to the left. So there are two dots and then one dot. So that's exactly what you need to do with, for the first one. Then we're going to climb up to the second one. There it is. And then what we're going to do with this one, we're going to drag this one to the left. So it's got two dots either side. And then jumping up to the next one then, we are going to pull this one to the right. Just once should be fine, so this, so it should be three dots and then two dots. And then if we jump up to the final, the finale one, right at the very top, what you're going to do, we are going to drag this to the right again until it's got one dot and then another dot and then, well, yeah, so it looks basically exactly like that. Once that's done, you can call Mui and you can head over to the right hand side and then it is done like a dingo done dingo. So interact with this thing and then what this will do is actually give Mui a new little power. The power of hypnosis. Have you noticed I'm a hypnotist? Have you noticed that you're going under? My eyes are bloodshot, bloodshot. Uh, sorry, got the Shikari on the brain. Anyone listen to the new Shikari album? Class. It's fantastic, right? <laughs> Hooray! Woohoo! Yay! We got the amulet and now we're a hypnotist and now you can go under. So once you have the hypnotist power, we can, we need to do, go up to something with bright eyes such as this one, press the Y button, hold the right trigger and the left stick and pull it in a direction. We're going to pull it left and then that'll open up the way for us. So that's uh, pretty much effectively all that you've got to do. Obviously call him as well 
uh, get him going, jump over the gap there, and pop him onto the lights. So that's all you do then. Press the Y button to get him hip hypnotized and focused on something. Make sure not to jump down, but just drop down. So don't jump, just drop, and then we can jump to the other side. But uh, yeah, that's and then we can continue on right. But that's effectively how that power works. Get him looking at something, and then we can stick to get whatever it is in the direction that we need to go. So, climbing up here then, what we're going to do is climb up and climb up again. Big Mooey Boy will follow us. And you can see a caterpillar with one giant eye. So, we need him to uh, be hypnotistic, he did, did right now. So, get him... Uh, if if the Y button prompt doesn't appear, just get him to stand just next to the caterpillar. And then just keep him hypnotized. Uh, but what we can do is actually push, again, with the right trigger and the left stick, push the caterpillar over to the right. That will block the way and get the caterpillar... I mean, I assume it's a caterpillar. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, but we can now use the caterpillar thing at the very bottom. We'll appear. There we go. Like I said, if it doesn't appear, just get him to actually stand right in front of the uh, whatever it is that you need. Hypnotize him, and then what we're going to do is pull him out to the left. The Don't hold the Y button just yet. Um, exactly what I just did. Don't do that. Uh, so keep him hypnotized. Then what we can do is climb onto the caterpillar to climb up. There we go. And then when we get here, then we can now push the caterpillar back to the right. And his big, chunky, little poop-stained, whatever the hell that's supposed to be, will appear. And that'll give us the platform needed to get on out of here, boy. So, onwards and upwards then to chapter L50. So, let's go. So, what we're going to do then, we are just going to point. Uh, no, we're not going to point. We're actually just going to drop down and have a little bit of a nice section since we've got out of the darkness and the crapness that is Zubat's cave. So slide them down now, mate. Get them down. There we go. Drop down. Jump. And then what we're going to do is pop uh, pop Mui onto the yellow flowers right here. That'll get him chilling and gone. And that'll get our little pinger up nice and ready. So we're going to drag this, dra uh, drag this box over to the sort of middle. And that'll do. And then we are going to turn it. That will open up the box. And then we should be good to go. So just jump up to the rock and then jump over to the right. And obviously grab Mewy Boy on the way. Hola, <laughs> Mewy. So a little, another little puzzle to do, plus a shrine that we're going to grab, and it's very well hidden, this is another very well hidden one. So what we need to do, climb up here, climb onto the rope. Now, just be aware that you can die falling off this rope if you drop straight down, so just be careful. But swing yourself to the right hand side, you can just see a little ledge. You could probably just see a tiny little ledge, once you climb in there, this is where the next shrine is. And yes, I did die on this chapter. Very sillyly of me, and um, in fact, that, that's what it's like with this game. For the most part, enemies, you can just get through easily, but uh, through pretty much all our own incompetence and silly little deaths like falling off, yeah, that, that, is, that is what can happen bad. So I actually, so what we need to do is climb up and then jump over to the left-hand side. I missed the jump and died a death. So if you miss this jump, quickly reload your last checkpoint. <laughs> Trust me. 
Right, so now what we can do then, we can just jump onto this elevator, and that'll start putting it up, and then we can get Mui to sit on here. So make sure that Mui is sat on there, and uh, that will, that should be good. Again, that's something else I messed up on, I accidentally forgot to put him there, and then he just, yeah, terrible. Terrible. So climb back on, up onto the rope, and again, make sure that you swing yourself over, pure George of the style, George of the style, George of the jungle style. Over to the left, pure Brendan Fraser, beautiful man. And then once that's done, you can grab Mui, and then we can just continue upwards. And again, of course, we need to get Mui to drop a rope down for us to actually continue upwards. Hello, Mui. So, cheeky robot spider coming up. Here we go. So, we're going to crouch under, of course. Now, here is the spider. So, basically, what he does is he effectively stays up on the top for the most part. Only if he falls down, which we do need to get him down, will he come here. So, what we need to do, wait for him to just jump up there. That's all good. We can climb up onto the rock now. And then what we need to do is get Mui, but again, don't point him over straight away uh, when the, the spider sees him. Wait until the spider goes to the left, get him on the dirt pile on the top, and then you can, you can jump over onto the next part. When he does see him, then you can press the Y button. Boop! There we go, so press the Y button, jump up. You won't have enough time to clamber up to the top as well, so stay hidden in this nice little patchy grass for now. And then we've just got to do that whole thing again. So using our new uh, fat Pikachu friend as bait. So that's what you need to do then. Get him up again. Get him down. When the spider has gone again, just jump up. And that should give you more than enough time to clamber over to the other side. Even if the robot sees you here, uh, that should be fine. Just make sure you've got Mewi with you and crouch under. And he will not be able to get you, which is noisy and sloicy. Hypnotize. This broski and get him gone ski. Hola. Sliding our way down a swamp city. Oh yeah. So this is chapter six now. The swamp. We've got two shrines we're going to grab in this level as well. Um, but not a lot of enemies. A lot of puzzles. But there are still drops that can kill you of course. So just be careful of that one. So what we're going to do is head to the right for the time being. And we're effectively going to know now that Mui is Spewy of Watery. Ah, crap it. So, once again, Queen Lana here has to save the day. So, we can go for a nice swim in the dirty, murky bog waters. That is Swampville, USA. I, I mean, I assume this is... There's only... Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, there's swamps everywhere in the world. Sorry, sorry, America. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's dirty bog swamps everywhere in the world. So, Right, so we're going to clamber up. We're going to grab this log, which is on top of here. We're going to pull it down. And again, because Queen Lana has that massive Trembolone uh, steroid strength in her, she can actually swim and pull the log at the same time. So, yes, you can press the X button and continue to swim on. That is how you'll get Mui up. And then you can just swim in on to the other side.
Ole. So once uh, we have done that then, what we need to do is get Mui up to the top and we're going to ask him very nicely, Oh, Pikachu friend, could you thunderbolt me down a rope, please? And he'll go, I'm a demi-cat, choo, or something or other, I don't know, I'm starting to, starting to lose my motivation for the Pikachu and uh, demi-cat jokes now, um, which will probably um, make you guys happy, actually, since I've said it enough through the game. So, welcome to yet another incredibly hidden shrine. So, we can drop or jump down into the water. We're just going to continue on all the way to the right. And if you're wondering where it could be, this shrine on this particular screen, we're going to jump out of the water, go to the right, crouch down, and continue down until you see the shrine of life shining in your eyes. Madness. So as you just seen then, that should be now uh, Secret Shrine number 6 out of 10. And if you uh, go to the pause menu, you should see how many you've got. But again, you should be on 6 out of 10. So, uh, get the pinger out for Mui and then call him over. He'll just drop straight down there, that'll do. And then what you need to do is get him pointing upwards to the, the sort of yellow flowery type things at the top. That'll reach out to El Tentacalo and we can move on to the right swiftly. Hola. So now we've got the ability to drain water and put some more water in with bigger uh, globness right there. So you need to get you need to get him um, uh, Mui hypnotized with the caterpillar thing, and then you can move the uh, hold the right trigger and then go either left or right to fill or drain the water. I've got no idea what that thing is, but I tell you what, if we could put petrol in my car, <laughs> then I think we'd all uh, happily pay for one, wouldn't we? Instead of the ridiculous uh, petrol and diesel prices right now. Or gas prices, of course, in America and stuff. So, fill it all the way up, swim over to the other side. And then, what we could do here is, we obviously keep him hypnotized. Then we're going to drain all the water. Brr, brr, the noise on it is fantastic as well. Fantastically hilarious. And then Mui should now be able to just drop down, and there he goes. He can follow us lovingly. Get him up, kick a rope down, sort us out, mate. Cheers. Hello, Mui. So be careful again here. Don't just jump off. We're going to hang down, and we're going to go down again. And then we can wall jump over to the other side, nice and safe. Or, for some reason, as my teenage years, I would say, I would always say spafe. Which I don't know why. Anyway, once we're in the water, head to the left. We've all done cringy things as teenagers. So that's, uh, so I'm happy I'm not on my own on that one. Uh, but yeah, swim to the left, and here is the seventh out of ten shrines already. Already then. And we can just head on to the right. Eventually it will, and it should unlock. And there we go then. Finding Secret Shrine 7 out of 10. And look at the rareness of it. Imbacaculous. Whatever that means. Did I just make up a word, or is that a word in some other language? Anyway, heading up here, what we're going to do, we're going to jump up to the right. We're going to jump um, to the rope, so give yourself a little running jump. And then, of course, we need to jump all the way over to the left, so give yourself a nice little motivation swing. A momentous swing, sorry, and that'll do. Pull the um, planks off right here and call Moo Bags. Head to the right again. Hello. <laughs> Hola. 
So then it's another little puzzle which we've got to do here. We can see the Globnesis of Monster, the old petrol diesel fam. Uh, the water drainer, we'll just call it. Uh, but what we need to do then is head to the right. We're basically, again, um, having to get a log to sort him, uh, to sort Mui out. So what we're going to do, we're going to clamber up, jump up, cl obviously climb onto the rope. And again, make sure you've got a nice little momentous swing going. George, George, George of the jungle, look out for that tree. And then, of course, just swing yourselves over to the next rock as well. Mrs. Pommelhorst, I'd like to get down now. By the way, when I said log, I obviously didn't mean log, I meant rope. Uh, so just drop yourself straight down. Boosh! Here we go, that'll smash open the way for us. Uh, we need to get Mui now to control L Caterpillar. Obviously, he's a bit shy, so, you know, don't go too close to him, but just point, um, point Mui in to get his attention with his eyeball. Press the Y button, and then obviously what we can do now is use the left stick and the right trigger to drain the water. So, most of it's drained. So, Globnus is pretty full of water now, so we're not quite done. We need to keep the caterpillar hypnotized um, for now. So, don't bring uh, Mui with you. And just like fire and thunder, um, you can actually jump up here, but for some reason, my little arms are failing. My little dinosaur, my little Jordan Pickford, Jordan Pickford dinosaur arms are failing. And uh, like I said earlier, I lied to you. We are actually grabbing a log. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so just pull, pull the water up. Don't worry, I'm pretty certain you can't crush yourself. And, uh, drag the log over to the left. And then when we get in between these rocks here, what we're going to do then is drain the water. No, other way. There we go. Once you've drained it enough, then continue on to the left. And then finally we can get Mui on this boy. So we are going to uh, pull the water back up. You can get Mui down to the bottom if you want. Um, it pretty much doesn't matter which way it is because you're going to be dragging him from left to right at the top of the bottom anyway. So you know the drill. Well, I do believe we're kind of to the end of the chapter now as well. So, like that, flying through this game. Uh, you should get an achievement here as well for basically finding this big relic. For whatever reason, it doesn't pop for me until we start the next chapter. So, just climb up onto the rope, climb up, head to the right, and that is where the next chapter shall be Gwyn. As you can see, I was mightily concerned, but uh, there we go. It uh, eventually popped anyway, so that is what you should have got uh, in the previous chapter, just before we started this one. 
So, out of the swamp and into the past. If this is your past, well, uh, 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 it's always a brighter future, isn't there? Uh, so, we're into this next little area now with the cutscene. We are going to get ourselves a new little pyre. Sorry, that was uh, power in Northern Irish right there. Pyre, mirror, etc., etc. So onto the right woods we go then. Again, there's no uh, danger, there's no enemies or anything for the time being. So it's just a nice, chilled experience of spooky, scary stuff going on. And the fact you don't know if uh, all your family and friends are dead. Uh, let's jump over the gap, of course, and then we're going to drop down. Then we're going to slide down and then again press the A button to jump off the, to the gap, just in case. And then jump across to the rope. And very carefully and safely pop yourself down. Now this was the one chapter that I had to replay again because the achievement for the story related stuff wouldn't unlock. More on that later. Now obviously you see electric, you ain't gonna go into it, you. So let's not do that. But point Mui underneath, get him to press the button. That's gonna turn it off. You can get now Mui coming with us, providing you don't accidentally turn the button back on and fry yourself like a nice bit of ch uh, KFC chicken. Um, but continue on to the right for now again, obviously missing out any gaps and everything jumping over and being safe and calm Mate, if she hasn't uh, heard you before, she's not going to hear you now in the desolate wasteland of the past, is she? Um, so, we're going to drop down, slide down. Should be okay, you don't have to jump or anything, you'll just fall at the bottom. Uh, we've got another spider little puzzle in the bottom here. Look at him. Blech. So, what we need to do then, we need to get um, Mui on the button. And then, what you need to do, as soon as the spider's all the way to the left-hand side, as far as he can, what we're going to do is make a, make a run for it. And then we need to press the Y button to turn on the electrical current to kill the spider off. So as soon as he's far left, make a big jump for it, jump over, now press the Y button. And that should fry him. Uh, sounded like a bit of a man bear pig right there, but that fries him lovely. Cook him up, bit of protein, bit of protein and carbs, that's exactly what you need. Job done. So, uh, nice and easy, right? Yes. Uh, get Mui up, he's going to pop the rope down, and up we go again. So after all the excitement of dropping down stuff and walking, uh, if you press the uh, X button here, you will open up a bridge. Uh, get Mui onto the button. When we cross to the other side, what we're going to do is get Mui to press the button. The bridge will retract, and again, very carefully, we can start heading down. So uh, make sure to just drop down. Don't jump down because that is an immediate death, even though she's uh, fallen from higher and survived. But you know, tis what it is. Uh, climb, obviously, oh, crouch through to the next area. Now, with this one, what we're going to do then, we're going to climb up. And you see the button at the top there? We're going to get Mui on that button. Come on, you lazy git. There we go. Pop him on it, but do not press the button yet. 
for the love of God, do not press the button. So you're going to see what looks like big car batteries or something. Pop this first one into the uh, water. Then head to the right side and put the next one into the water as well. Again, don't hit the white button by mistake, because that will mean electric conacusa chili con carne death. Oh, in fact, I lied. You do need to press the button. So press the button, get it going. You can now press the X button to extend the bridge. And then press the Y button to turn off the electric city. And then we can swim over to the left side and continue on to the right. So I am sorry, that's another lie I've just told you. I'm apologetically sorry. I lie. Now this bit actually choked me up a little bit because look at that little baby and he's got his little arm out or she's got a little arm out and yeah that wasn't uh whew, didn't like that <laughs> that genuinely got me quite emotional anyway uh we climb up the rope and obviously climb to the right hand side platform again So now we get a new power, and it is the power and the ability to take over robots. Comes in mega handy, as you would expect, with robots trying to kill you and such. Um, but this is where the first time I went through this, the achievement here in Control did not unlock for whatever particular reason. Uh, so I had, to, I had to replay the chapter, and it unlocked a second time. So again, just be aware of that one. Um, if not, I probably should have just reloaded the last checkpoint, but... I got annoyed with it and, you know, went through that again. Uh, so we're actually coming up to the end of Chapter 7 soon. So we're going to drop down again. Don't jump. We're going to drop. Uh, we can jump down here. <laughs> We've got quite a bit of a puzzle to do. So we jump on the lift. It's always going to start going down because apparently it can't hold the weight of uh, one skinny girl or something. That's a weak old elevator boy. So we'll just wait. Obviously you don't want to fall off too far because your skinny ankles will smash. Uh, there we go, we'll drop down and then what we're going to do is uh, jump to the left hand side. Again, try not to fall down the gap. Press the X button, That is uh, this is obviously the tutorial, this is where we're going to start taking over stuff. And the first thing we can take over is this bridge, So, or this platform lift. So with the left stick, what you're going to do is you're going to put it sort of close to where that um, platform gap was, then put it all the way at the top, Pre hold the X button to take off, and the lift will start coming down on its own. Obviously because it's got no one to control it, so you need to climb up quickly as you can, and you need it to get it um, sort of where it's coming down now, so just close to the platform, because obviously you will fall to your Merry Christmasy little death. So we wait, we wait, and in fact, actually, I replayed this twice because I fell the first time too. Uh, so drop down, and then what we're going to do is jump to the left. So you can see the platform and the switch, so as soon as we can. There we go, should be enough time. Whoa, I just made it, actually. 
But there we go. So now we can actually uh, just pull the grate off here on the left-hand side. That'll be for a nice bit of ease of access. Um, jump over... Oh, in fact, what we need to do now is get Mui onto the lift. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We need to get Mui onto the lift. So we are going to... I probably could have easily just crouched down and done it that way, but for some reason I didn't. Uh, but anyway, either way, Mui, get your bomb on that lift, little fat Pikachu man. There we go. And of course, there is methods to our madness. So now what we're going to do is take over the lift again. Now, this is the only way that you can take over robots and electrical mechanically things, by the way, is with these sort of buttons. So what we need to do then is go over to the right, just past the bridge. Now you can see the electrical uh, wire to bite. We're going to go by it, but do not bite it, of course. That will result in death. So make sure the cat is sort of, or uh, Mui is sort of uh, around that area. Once that's done, immediately uh, make a break to the right, crouch under, and go ahead and turn off the switch. That'll turn off the electrical current. There we go. And now when uh, Mui gets there, we can press the Y button to bite it. Job done. That will unextend the bridge and it'll sort of flop over or something. Now we can turn the electricity back on because we need to do a little bit more hypnotoasting. And not hypnotoasting, but we need to do a little bit more taking over in. So with the lift again, what we're going to do, we're going to pop it over. Um, it basically has to act like a platform for us now. So put it sort of in the middle between the bridge on the right and, of course, the platform on the left. And if you think that's sort of a good enough gap, it should be sort of square in the middle. Make sure to put it all the way up once again. Hold the X button or the B button to get up. No, not the B button. The X button to get off. And then again, just hold, get up, and wait. Then we wait. And we wait. Why is nobody buying a darn hamburger? Uh, but yeah, so... How are you guys? How is my lovely, loyal, beautiful crew? Fantastic? Good. Right. When you're close enough, make a jump for it. Make sure to get Mui to follow you and then just jump over to the other side. And that is, uh, yeah, so that's that puzzle complete. Bit of a bit of a strange one that seemed to take a while and forever to do. But we are done and ta-da! On to chapter 8, which is... The shortest one in the entire game. Yes, it's only about five minutes long. And it's nice and chill. The ocean. Welcome to the ocean. And this is where we're actually going to start taking over some robots. We're not quite in the ocean yet, but we're almost there. Uh, so what we need to do, dive into this grass here. Wait until robot bum... Nips over to the left, and then we can just continue on. And like I said, with the machine, obviously, we can take over things. This is the same one. A lot of the times, you will have to take off the paneling or whatever it is first, and then we can take over the robot. Now, to control the robot, you've got to press the right trigger. So, obviously, if you uh, take your finger off the right trigger, the robot falls. So, um, yeah. So, that's all we need to do then. Uh, so, what we need to do is get the robot to land on these yellow flowers at the top. And then you can just uh, hold the X button to come straight back off it. There we go. Now, if you seem to have a bit of trouble sort of flying around with him, it's, it's probably a good time there to just have a little practice. Because especially in the last chapter, there's a point where we have to um, fly one of these robots through an electrical current with Mui on his back. So... Uh, hopefully you can get used to it. It did take me a little bit of time to get used to the sort of how he flies and sort of controls and stuff because he is a bit, he's pretty much like you after you've just had about five or six pints. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. But with that one done, we'll go on a boat and we'll swim for our lives. I say swim, I meant boat. Meno. <laughs>
Well, Jesus, mate, look at the size on this whale. That's one, two, three. That's a lot of sperm in that whale. Thanks for not eating us, by the way. <laughs> so, as we begin, we're going to immediately turn to the left. Obviously, your sense of direction will tell you go right, and why there was an edit, because that's exactly what I'd done and missed this one the first time. So, we need to just swim all the way over to the left to get the next shrine going. Babble bow. Babble bee ba doo. So there it is, so with that shrine, obviously press the X button on it, the B button as we've been doing throughout the entirety of the game, that should be now shrine number 8 out of 10. Now if my calculations are correct, there it is, 8 out of 10, 0 0.66, oh that's a nice rareness. Right, so just keep swimming, just keep swimming, all the way to the right hand side, and then we can begin the chapter proper. So immediately then we're going to be coming up to a cheeky little man bear pig. Not quite a pear big, but he's not quite a pear. So what we need to do, we actually need to get him, um, we need to sort of lure him, we need to hypnotize him. You can actually just wait until he comes over and the Y button should prompt him, there we go. So hold the Y button then so you don't, because what I think you were supposed to do is actually get Mui out and then quickly uh, press the Y button to hypnotize him, but you can just wait until he comes over. Push him all the way over to the right until he steps on the flowers. That will uh, ping up a little ping bag. And then we can climb up. And then we can just drop down. And don't worry, he's obviously not going to hurt, hurt you, so we can just literally climb on up and then press and hold the B button here to get him going. The animals are going to be a little bit dazed afterwards, which is to be, to be expected. And then he'll just be like, what the hell just happened? My whole life flashed before my eyeballs. balls. So, pushing the rope down there with Mui gets us up and going. Hola. And again, like we've done many a times before, we're going to get Mui up and kick us down a rope. Please, sir. Who the hell keeps putting all these ropes up there like that? That's very irresponsible. So when we climb up the rope and climb to the right, immediately hide in the grass because there is a little flying enemy. Now, to be honest, from sort of this chapter onwards to the end, almost ducked it up then. Literally, d and f uh, So when he goes to the right, we're going to drop down and then hide in the little alcove here to the left. So crouch down. Uh, but yeah, the intensity of enemies does get a little bit more, so we'll be doing quite a few more of these sections. When he's at the top, immediately run to the right. You should have just enough time. Jump for it, uh, free wiener. There we go. Free wieners over the other side. We're good. There's another enemy here, so as soon as we can, just drop straight down. As you can see in the sort of black cesspit of life, there are tentacles, uh, so what we need to do now is wait until he goes to the left of us, jump over as much as he can, and then hide in this next patch of grass. The reason we had to do that was because you get stuck and you slow down in the sort of black de death grass or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But yes, so don't go in there straight away because if you see any more, there are tentacles that will appear and they will kill you dead. So we need to, a robot to um, shoot them down first. 
Anyway, into the next part, the nice uh, sequel, the nice sequel, the nice tranquil sea, calm ocean. Don't obviously go into the black bits, as you can see the tentacles are right there, so we need to get the rope down and climb up. In fact, all we're going to do then, we're going to swing as f hard and far to the right as we can. So make sure to give yourself a big bit of momentum and uh, avoid the tentacles there. So with that, you can actually call Mui. He'll actually just jump over it. Thank God, I thought he was going to die. Um, <laughs> so once we get into this other side, we can actually interact with uh, the robot from earlier on that we passed. And we are definitely going to need him because there are a few of these little black cesspit pool of deaths about. So, again, you know, hopefully with a nice bit of control, you can get that done lovely. So, go up and then down. It doesn't matter if the robot goes into it. It literally doesn't matter. He's going to kill them all anyway. These robots can't die unless we fludge him up. Uh, keep on going to the right, because just above where we are, there is yet another one. And just to the right of that is yet another one. And just to the right of that is yet another one. Well, dreamers. Uh, so there's all three done, and if we go up, you can see where the next shrine is, the ninth one. Um, but we are actually going to leave the robot just here on the top, because we're going to need to do a little bit of things. Cause, and there's a little yellow flower here as well. So that is uh, that is what we need to get. We've got him pinging. We are good to go. Right, so now we are good. What we're going to do is head all the way to the left and climb up the rope now. You're going to get a bit sticky-stucky, but, you know, it's all good. No death equals good good. So climb up, obviously you've got your tentacle friend to help out. Ka-ching! Uh, so there we go, climb up, and of course, very, very hard to miss this one, but it is the next shrine. And we've only got, uh, yeah, we've got one more left after this one. Toity! So yes, you should now be on Shrine 9 out of 10. If you've somehow managed to miss one, have a look at the timestamps and you can just go and replay the chapter and just grab that one. Anytime you collect a shrine, they stay collected as well. So that's all good. I love it when devs do that. Right, so jump over to the right as far as you can, and then this time we're obviously going to jump up, and you need to go through more sticky, stucky deaths of death. Without the death, of course, thankfully. So we're going to climb up, and then of course we're going to do some more George of the Jungle swinging. This is like Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed and George of the Jungle all snuck into one. Uh, Mui is obviously not going to be able to get across, so swing low. And that's all I'm going to say on that matter. Uh, so jump up. Obviously Mui, we will be grabbing Mui in just a little minute. Do not worry, we can just drop down, and then we're going to head to the left. And uh, we can climb up, and obviously what we're going to see is this log. So we can just drag it now uh, to the right a little bit. That'll uh, basically open up the way. And then we can just drag it all the way to the left. Get Mui coming on. Come on, Spewy Mui. So even when you're out of land, you need to continue dragging the log to the right. Uh, we're going all the way to the right, of course. Luckily that we've had a couple of trembolone sandwiches, so our strength is completely full. <laughs> uh, 
Although the patience is starting to wear thin, as it were. Right, get Mui up there to drop a rope down, and then we can continue on to the right, of course. So then, on to the next area, what we're going to do when we drop down, we're going to go to the right, find this patch of grass, and hide yourself in it again. Ha! Ah. Because there is a little cone robot, and at the very end, at the very right-hand side of this area, there is a little man-bear pig we are going to, unfortunately, destroy. So go to the right, and then we can hide in the grass again. When the robot then goes to the left, we can get up. And we can just go to the right and hide under this sort of alcovey bit. So what we're going to do then is we are going to get Mui to hypnotize the poor pig. So as soon as the white button prompt uh, pops up there, make sure to do that. And then what we're going to do, you have to be sort of careful with this. A bit of timing again is needed. But you need to get Mui going all the way over to the left hand side. So we'll just pop him under this alcove for now. So keep him here. And then when the robot appears once again on the right. Hello! You can't see me because you're stupid! As soon as he goes to the left, start moving with Mui. And that should give you plenty of time then for Mui to hide in the grass and for Manbe Pig to be on the flowers. With that, the robot's going to be like, Hey! You did! And he will stay there. He is just our counterweight. That's all you are to me. I'm sorry. I love you, but that's, that, that's all you are to me. So, with that one good, we can actually now call Mui back when the coast is clear. And let's continue on. So, we're going to get Mui to stand on this first batch of flowers right next to us. Wait again, of course, until the robot goes to the left, and then we can climb up. And we are actually going to take over this robot again. Ooh, it's just so exciting. It's just so exciting. Uh, and that's my excited voice, apparently. Uh, right, so, jumping up. And then pull it off, and then of course we can now overtake the robot's mechanism. Bing, 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 bong, bing, bong. Right, so what we can do, we're going to fly him up. And onto these uh, sort of bunch of yellow flowers again on the top. We'll leave him there, so unconnect yourself, or disconnect yourself. Uh, get Mui coming up as well. Um, he should be fine, he'll be able to jump up. Uh, but what we need to do now is actually get Mui to sit on the flowers instead. Uh, so just point to the bottom where Robot's butt is. The robot. <laughs> and then we can just drop down. And we can take over the robot again. <laughs> robot. So again, obviously make sure that uh, Mui's not on his head and he's underneath. And then just drop down and land on these particular set of flowers. Boop. Yeah, the controls are a bit, uh, can be a bit wienerish with the robots. Very funny, very good. Uh, but that will do. We are all good. Disconnect yourself. Climb up. Up! And there we go. We've got the little ping bags going. Then we can drop down. And drop yourself over to the other side. Congratulations! Hello. So this is a fun bit then, we've got to do a bit of time in here, there's two robots in this area, plus we need to get a bit of hypnotizing going on and all types of stuff. So, hypnotize the old uh, snake caterpillar thing, and of course we can drain the water and uh, fill the water. Now obviously when you drain the water, it means that the robots will go down further to look, so obviously a bit of timing is required. But as soon as this first robot nips up... That's ample plenty of time for us to just go over. Wait until the next robot flies over to the right. Um, or 
like I said, if you're feeling a bit, uh, you know, if you don't fancy being caught, which, to be fair, if you're having to replay chapters for 20, 25 minutes, no, you wouldn't want to die either, would you? Uh, so again, then, we'll just wait here for now, and then as soon as he's up, then we'll start nipping around. Now, do be careful. Don't go too far, because the, uh, the line of sight can actually see you even when they are flying up. So just be very, very careful. Once he does start flying up, we can now continue on to the right-hand side and jump out and then jump up above us to the platform. Oh, you know, like I've lied to you for the third time, uh, put the water up and then you can climb out. Sorry, sorry. Ah, duh. Oh, duh. oh, man, I suck. Anyway. Um, wait, of course, until the robot is over. Now, what you can do is hide in this patch of grass until the sort of coast is clear, but because he went over to the right, I sort of had enough time to jump over to the next patch of grass. Uh, but we're going to wait for, obviously, this broski to go ski. There he goes, skis. And this is where the log is, so make sure to grab the log, pull it into the river quick as you can, and then head to the right... You may have to hide in the patch of grass again. If the robot's not there, you can literally just jump straight down and then head left towards the log. But, it doesn't matter if we've got to wait. I was a bit paranoid. I don't think he can see you, though, even if you uh, popped up. So drop down, and again, we'll just have to wait. Man, I've been waiting all my damn life for this moment. Now, push the water up just a little bit. That's all you need. You need to push the water up a little bit, just so that we've gotten sort of over this little gap. And then from here, we can just go ahead and grab Mui. Get him on, boy. Sometimes it might be a little bit finicky here. You might have to unhypnotize him first and then drag him on, or he might just come to you straight away. Uh, make sure that he stood or sat on the log. And we'll just wait for just another couple of milliseconds. What do you think of What do you think of five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten? That counts as milliseconds, right? Uh, as soon as the robot goes off, then we can start dragging the water down and continue. Obviously, you're going to need to hide in the sort of uh, under passages of these bits. Just, just managed to make that one, actually. Again, when you're dragging him across, just be careful. It doesn't matter if he spots the log, but if he spots uh, uh, us or Mui, of course, then we're going to have a bad time. Anyway, once this is done, we can now finally move on. I don't know why we're doing this whole log thing. Couldn't we have just literally just carried Mui on our back while we swim or on our head? That would have been easier, but there we go. So that bit is done. Get Mui following you. Let us continue. Hypnosis this bro, and then get it. So after witnessing the scenes of beautifulness and bigliness, that's another word. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to jump up onto this bridge here on the right, and then we're going to just jump jump straight down. Jump and drop straight down, so that'll break this bit of uh, scaffolding or whatever. And then we can just crouch on through.
saw another little simple um, puzzle here involving one of the cone enemies. So what you're going to do, we're just going to wait underneath this part here. And as soon as he nips over to the left, we're going to take a jump up. And then we're going to jump up again to the right. And then make sure to jump over to the right again. So we can't actually see you when you're on top of here. So that's all fine and dandy. When he drops down, we're just going to wait. Uh, we basically just need him to wait to go over to the left-hand side again. So once he does that, now climb onto the rope quickly as you can, get over to the other side, drop down, and just hide in the grass for a second or 16. Okay, not 16. As soon as he goes over to the right, immediately jump over to the left, and then, of course, pull it off, pull the panel off, and then hypnotize him. We should have pretty much just enough time here to take over the robot, um, even though I'm not sure if he can see you there. But anyway, now we do have control. Let us go ahead and just pop him. Yeah! Stuff to the side of us right there, so we're sandwiched between two robots. We're gonna actually put Mui on top of said robot now. <laughs> He's going for a fly. So, again, take control of the robot, fly him up through and up, through and up, through and up. Keep going to the right and then start dropping it down, and that will knock the rope down. And that's pretty much all it's needed for. So, we've knocked the rope down. We'll unsubscribe from no, don't uns unsubscribe from me. Please! My kids need feeding! Uh, but we can just head all the way to the right and climb up the rope. Hello. <laughs> So, remember when we turned uh, quick time events off um, in the very beginning, uh, unless you kept them on or whatever you wanted to do, and you're thinking, geez, mate, we've only got an hour left of the video. Well, this is where the first quick time event would be if you got them on. So, basically, it's sort of like a mini boss, just a giant spider with big goofy spider teeth. <laughs> Um, and it, it would literally just be a case of mashing the X button or hitting the... I mean, everyone knows what a quick time event is, doesn't it? You, you'll, have a, you'll have a specific button, which you've either got to mash or you've got to just hit until before the timer runs out. Uh, but get Mui on the edge right there. Maui Mui. Uh, get him right on the very edge. Then what you're going to do, obviously, is just drop down. You're going to go to the right. And you're just going to start seeing... Big Chungus Spider right here. As soon as his eyes open, turn around and immediately go to the left. There we go. Run! I mean, you'd think uh, Queen Old Anil, Lana, would um, run a little bit faster, but no. Uh, but you can actually just stay under here. You will be safe here. Now, this is where the quick time event, like I said, would begin. So, if you've got it on, obviously, I, I do believe it's all random. Um, but, obviously, it'll be button mashing and hit it before the timer runs out. Otherwise, if you turn them off, just enjoy the cutscene of life. Powerful kitty cat. I really like how he goes from scary with big teeth to just, like, he just looks like, ooh, like a big overbite teeth. He just looks hilarious. I'm, I'm so, it's so funny. Anyway, obviously you're going to need to keep Mui hypnotized on him, so don't call him back, whatever the hell you do. But you can just jump on uh, Chung, big spider Chungus's back, climb up, and then when we are nice and safe, uh, it'll pretty much automatically just finish here. The spider will be dazed for a bit and then think, ha, y'all can screw off, I ain't doing that again.
Now, to be fair, that whole scene there was just bloody beautiful, wasn't it? That was really nice. Uh, but we'll get an achievement now. We've made it this far. Um, so, oh, there ain't no turning back now. God, there ain't no turning back. And we will now start chapter 10 out of 13 called The Desert. No, it's just the desert. It's a shame that it wasn't a desert level because everyone can get on board with desserts. Mm. And so it begins then, chapter 10 out of, I mean, it's a chapter 10 out of effectively 12, uh, chapter 13 is just like a little epilogue sort of thing. Uh, so for now, we will just obviously continue to the right. Again, she's still shouting her sister's name when there is literally barely any even microorganisms about, so I don't think Ina is going to hear you much, buddy. <coughs> And straight away then up to our first robot spider buddy, except he's not a buddy. So he's just basically going to walk left and right. So we are going to wait for him to come to the left. There we go. And then we need to wait for him to come go to the right. As soon as he goes to the right, you need to jump up onto the rock. So right about now. So jump up and then immediately jump up again. And you should just about make it. There we go, and as soon as he turns around to the left, do crouch, because sometimes he can actually spot you, so crouch there. But if you're all good, just jump straight down, and you should be good to go. He may spot you, but again, you are crouching underneath, so you're as golden as nuggety chino bags. So, after another little run without any food, drink, or sleep, apparently, we're up to yet another puzzle. So, um, what we need to do then, we have to... It's all a bit... Um, I'll just explain as we go. Yeah, we'll just do that instead. So, what we need to do then, you need to get Mui sort of standing right there. He can't follow you. Jump up onto the lift to the right. 
And what that'll do is go down ever so slightly. And a little caterpillar will appear. So give him the big hypnotize of life. Make sure not to fall off yourself. It's very easy to fall off. So just push him to the right so that the electricity has gone off. And then we can just jump. And as you can see, the lift uh, has uh, popped down. So what we can do is just head back. Keep Mui hypnotized. Uh, hypnotizing the caterpillar thing. Jump up onto said lift of pepperoni. And then you should be good to go now to just uh, pop him back so the electricity comes back on. Make sure to call Mui straight away as well so that he can uh, jump up. Uh, even though you need to press the button anyway, so... <laughs> but, you know, the quicker the better. Right, so, pop it up. And then, obviously, we can just clamber over to the right-hand side. And not that much puzzles to, uh, you know, not much space in between here now, in between puzzles. So, get Mui up there, right up above you there, to go ahead and push the button. Uh, so that's what you're going to need to do. So push the button. That'll go up. That will bring the string down. So push the button again. So we can actually climb up the rope. There is an enemy up here as well. But don't worry. You should uh, get, get hold of him. No problem. Push the lift elevator back down. So we can actually climb on to said elevator. And then push the elevator back up. Now the robot doesn't actually come over here. So he only stays in the middle and to the right as you can see. So what you need to do is just when the robot goes to the right, jump. Push the button to pull the right-hand side lift up, and then jump back onto the left lift. And then what we need to do, when the robot goes to the right, push the button as you go past, and then drop down, and you should be out of sight and out of mind. And then with that, you can just call Mui down. And old Spooey Louie Mui is, well, everyone's happy. We've gone past the next bit again. Hooray! Hoorah! Another day, another puzzle with another enemy in it. But, uh, yeah, once again, not too bad really here. So what we're going to do is just jump up into this platform where there is a little button. We're going to get Mui to uh, stay by the button, but don't actually push it just yet. Jump up when the robot goes to the right. Now push the uh, floor button. Uh, now I did, I was going to go for it, but he would have caught me and... Well, we all know what a robot bullet to the brain does. Yes. Drop down into the hole in the floor, then press the Y button straight away so uh, we get some coverage. Then when the robot goes to the left, uh, open it up again, jump up, and then head to the right, jumping up. And you should have enough time there to make it. So, lift open the flap. Yeah. And then um, we can control the magnet. So I'm not going to control the robot first, we control the magnet. So, put the magnet, press the right trigger to put him to grab the robot, and then just squash him all the way down. Now, pull the magnet up, and then immediately press Y, and there we go. That'll trap the uh, enemy robot in there. Then put the magnet here over to the sort of left-hand side. That'll act as another bit of platform for us. So, we can drop down. We're at, this is where we're actually going to be getting the last and final shrine of life. I shrine to you! Now, if you can, try and actually climb up instead of falling down twice. Doi! There we go, we're all good. Uh, now, jump to the left, which you will have to squeeze through a teensy tiny little hole. And here we are. Ta-da! It's the final shrine. Na -na -na -na. Na -na 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 -na. Uh, but with this, providing, of course, you've been following the guide and you've got all ten shrines, you will get two achievements here. One, of course, for finding the secret shrine, ten out of ten. And one called a trace from the past for finding all the shrines. So, with this one done, there we go. Two beautiful rare ones um, done. So now we're actually going to take control of the magnet once again. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to put this in the sort of... Uh, in the middle. Uh, sort of closer to us. Sort of in the middle, just so we can jump up, jump up again, and head to the right. Olay. Pama ki muy.
Ok, alors Right, just be careful here, make sure not to jump off. This bit's fine, but don't jump off this part. We're gonna drop down. So just be very careful. So I don't know what the difference is between just walking off. Uh, apparently walking off equals death and uh, dropping off equals no shattered ankles. So that's nice. Right, anyway, enjoy the scenery for a few secs. More seconds. Hmm? All right, seconds up. Time to get back into puzzling now. Right, so when we get to this point here, you can see a switch or the uh, electrical cable we can bite. So make sure to point Mui up the top above where we are. He'll jump up and we can press the Y button there to num num our way through. Nummy num. And that'll obviously just uh, whack open a rope so we can climb up and continue heading right. <coughs> Well, this next part's always fun. Now, this is actually a part where maybe we can die easily. So we're going to tr jump over the electric panel here, obviously. Maybe we'll do it automatically. Um, now, with those big fans, um, they can very easily kill you. So make sure Mui is uh, staying right here. Then what you need to do is just wait until the fan stops and then go straight through. Again, if the fan hits you, you're dead. Uh, wait until the wind stops completely and then jump over. So don't go if the wind is still even a little bit. You need to wait until the next bit of wind stops completely. And then jump over again. And again, don't even think of going for it because uh, the timing is not that kind on this one. Uh, so jump through then. There is an enemy there. He won't actually come down to where we are, so don't worry about that. Jump over to the electrical... Uh, jump over to the right-hand side and then pull the switch to the left. That'll turn the electric off. Now, obviously, what you would normally do is wait, but I felt lucky that time, so, uh, but yeah. So that's all you got to do then, is literally just wait until the robot's in the top left corner, jump to the right, pull the switch, the electric goes off. The fans do stay on, as we can clearly see. So wait until it stops, and then mosey on your way through. Uh, don't worry about this bit. So, they don't actually blow you uh, any further or anything like that, so you can literally just stand still. Um... And you'll be uh, squared away. When it stops, go back through to the left again. And we are just going to head all the way left. And we're going to take off this panel and control the robot. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why even that noise is fantastic. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to head up as the robot. And we're going to head left. Now, uh, you, you can't, uh, with the robot, you can't die by the fan or anything. It'll just knock you out a bit. Head down, and then we can smash straight through here, which uh, is very much needed. And then just come out to the left. Now, this is the part where I died, and it's very easy to do so with Mui. Basically, if you're in, if, uh, if when you put Mui on top of the robot's head, if you're in line with the wind, that'll actually blow Mui off straight into the fan. So, what you need to do is go and, uh, obviously, control the robot again. So, we need to be quite quick with this one. So, obviously we're all fine here. Just wait. And then we're going to, when it stops, immediately go through and up. Immediately go up here. And you should be good. That's where I actually died. I didn't go up far enough and then I died, which was annoying. Uh, wait until the wind stops again here. And then the second it does, go straight up to your right. And that is good as golden. Right, uh, just to the right of us there, there is a switch that we can press. Make sure to press that, that'll turn the electric on acoustic off. And then to the left, as you can see, is the next yellow wire that we can bite. And we've done all that for a little bit of rope, which is just annoying, I know. Especially if you do die with those big fans, which, uh, again, annoyed the crap shackles out of me. But there we go, we're all done. So everything's turned off, you can just go straight to the right, or right to the right, Climb up the rope and continue to the right to the right. Hola.
So, coming up to yet another little enemy here. So, we have to do a bit of a distracting techniques here. So, with the dirt mound right in front of us now, uh, get Mui on it. Crouch down. Now, as soon as Spider Chicken Legs goes to the right-hand side, like now, yep, immediately go out and just crouch into the first bit of grass. Press the Y button to get Mui up onto this next part. As soon as the spider sees him, Press the Y button to go back to the other side. You can now run all the way to the right-hand side. So all the way to the right. And as soon as the spider spots you, crouch down and go to the right. Press the Y button to get Mui in. And make sure that he is... Uh, get him to follow you and then stop him in the first patch of grass. So it's important that you press the B button there to stop it. Now, when the spider goes to the left again... All the way to the left... What we can do is now climb out, wait until he spots us again, and then crouch back under. There we go, crouch back under, get Mui to follow you, and make sure to stop him in the next patch of grass. So again, press the B button to get him to stop. Maha, you can't catch me. And somehow he'll just miss Mui straight in the grass. So with that one, now you can get Mui to follow you, and we can go to the right-hand side, but not too much, of course, because we see Am's another spider. So when the spider is down on the right hand side, uh, you can just stay here because he doesn't actually go to the left. So when the spider drops down, get Mui up on the left hand side. And you can crouch under and as soon as he's down, get him to follow you. So as soon as the spider sees him, get him to follow you. And you, we should have no problems because he can't reach us and he gets confused by the gap. <laughs> and now this is a sad cutscene. Wow! <laughs> That's the end of Mui. Well, thanks for all your help, uh, Fada Pikachu, but, um, well, I guess we'll have to go in, go in on our own now. So continue heading to the right anyway, for the time being, with uh, pure emotional distress in your heart, I know. Another little dream sequence here, it's the same as we done at the very beginning of the game and on chapter 3 or 4, whatever it was. So we just jump up, head to the left, talk to our sisteroni again and uh, we'll be back in the real world.
Not that the real world is any good, mind, but, uh, you know, it's always better to be in a dream. Unless you're having a dream about being slashed by uh, Jason or Freddy or your mama. Then, uh, nah, it's pretty much not good. Um, otherwise, apart from those, yeah, real world sucks. So here we are then, on to chapter 11. It's another relatively short chapter before we get into the chunkier final chapter. Uh, this is called the Oasis, and it's very relaxing. Sort of. So, when we awaken from our slumber, I think that's the first nap we've had, to be honest. Maybe you might as well get some grub while you're down your neck while you're here, like, like some bones. Mmm, delicious. So anyway, uh, continue obviously heading to other right. So, after speaking to someone who looks like they've just come back out of the grave, um, we're just going to go to the right. Now, basically, there's a, a bit of a puzzle again that we're going to uh, try and do. And now, if you have a look at this first board, basically, it gives you the answer. See at the very bottom there where it says back, and it's got the line and line and dot? Uh, that's pretty much effectively one of the answers. If you have a look at another one, it's all funny, complicated stuff. Just match the symbols with... That's basically the answer, but you've just got to match the symbols here with the um, dots, etc. So, we're just going to have to wait a few minutes for the old uh, Grave Master to pop on. Uh, he does take a while. Come in! Oh, come on, hurry up! When I'm jumping on you, that means hurry up! Whew. Jesus, man, what a way to milk out this chapter, huh? Right, finally. So, since Uncle Albert has finally decided to turn the switches on, what we're going to do is head to the second switch. Um, just keep pressing the X button to hit it until you see two lines and a dot. Exactly like that. Two lines and a dot. Then go to the third one, just the right of you, and then what you're going to do, once again, is two lines and a dot. No, sorry, it's... Uh, yes, two lines and a dot. Sorry, that's right. Go to the first one, and then for this one, it's going to be... Um, uh, dot, line, dot. That's right. Dot, line, dot. Go to the fourth one. And then it's going to be one. Uh, one. Sorry, I keep saying one. I meant dot, line, dot again. And then for the final one. It is going to be dot, dot, line. So that's exactly how it should look. It should always be the same every time. So once you've done that, hit this button over here. And, uh, yep. That's, uh, pretty good. Now, for this next section, what it is the next quick time event section. So, basically, you're going to get this, like, spider horse come to life. You're going to be chased by the robot army. And, obviously, it would just be another quick time event. But, if you turn quick time events off, like me, it'll just be another long, lovely cutscene. So, enjoy. <laughs> oh. 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 
Right, when the uh, when we can begin again, immediately run to the right hand side and crouch yourself under before you die and succumb to a deathful of deathnessful. Anyway, uh, plus we'll get the achievement here called Close Call for escaping the robot army. So we can just drop down now, um, jump over the gap and head to the right and we will begin the final chapter before the sort of epilogue. Yeah. So here we are then, the big boy. Um, now this is a little bit more, there's a few more enemies in here and a few more puzzles on this level etc. Now very unfortunately I died myself twice at the very very end so I had to replay this mission twice which <laughs> as you can imagine, no three times which you can imagine was entertaining. Uh, but with this first robot then wait until he goes up to the top and just wait under this middle um, platform. And then we and then we'll wait and we'll wait and we'll blow your house down. Now wait until the robot then just goes up to the left and then you can just jump up to the middle platform and then kick it to the right. And that's all she well that's murder she wrote, mate. That is murder she wrote. Right, so crouch under then we're gonna do a bit of a boxing magnetizing platforming blombling. Uh, grab the box in here and pull it to the right hand side. Just there, just sort of, you know, just so it's out of, um, uh, un from underneath the platform. Pull the panel, interact with the switch, of course, and we can now interact and use the magnet. The chick magnet. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's not me. Uh, so, grab, uh, obviously, pop the magnet, dra grab it, and we are going to put it to the uh, left-hand side. So, over the platforms, and we're actually going to put this now down to the left. Now what you need to do with the magnet again is sort of put it in the middle so you've got a, another platform that you can use to just jump over to the other side. So, so somewhere in the middle, somewhere roughly about there should be good as gold. So now we can crouch back under. We can now climb up on top of the box. Climb on top of the box. And obviously jump to the right. And hopefully you should have enough uh, leverage right there to be able to just jump over with no problems. Again, if you do feel like you're not going to make it and you think you might die, just reload your last checkpoint. The checkpoints are very good in this game. Crouch into the... Uh, <laughs> in fact, this is another reason I reloaded my last checkpoint. Got a little bit excited right there. So, when you get up, um, you will obviously have to either wait for the robot to go back to the right, like we're doing now, and then head over to the right. So, but just hide in the grass anyway, so uh, once he's gone to the left, you can now jump up and you should be good to go. 
And this is what I mean by the sort of intensity of the level, with uh, more puzzles and enemies thrown at you. Because uh, there's another one coming up now, Robot Spider Boy. Uh, what we're going to do is wait for him to go to the right. As soon as he starts going to the right, that is our time to leave. Uh, he will jump up to the left first. And then he will eventually jump down. Once he jumps up, there we go, you should be good to go. Should have plenty of time. Although we did look, so maybe not that much time, but still. There we go. But that's what I mean in terms of the enemies and stuff. Uh, now we can just continue heading to the right. Um, and that's what I mean, in terms of the enemies, they actually cut the, you know, they give you a few seconds before they shoot you dead. So it's uh, very good in order so that you can reload, reload your last checkpoint and basically start where you were. Right. Jump up to the left. And now what we're going to do is just climb on the ship, go as far left as you can. And then we will be in... Um, the spaceship! Ah! That's my spaceship noise. Plus we get the point of no return achievement as well. Which is always nice. You think it's all over? Well, it's not now. Uh, we've still got quite a few things to do left in here. Plus a bunch of unskippable cutscenes, which are long. Lots of walking scenes to the right, which are long. Uh, but for now, once we get on here, uh, no enemies just for the time being. So we are going to just jump over a few gaps and everything. Be careful here. There is a small gap, as you can see. Or a small pole or small platform you can jump on. So make sure not to fall and die. Uh, head, obviously, to the right and just crouch under it again. And then what we're going to see, we are going to see one enemy. And he's basically just on the top. So what we need to do is just, all he does is guard the top, up and down. Or right and left, sorry. So as soon as he goes to the right, immediately get out. And then we'll just head to the right. So obviously, because he's only guarding that little bit, we don't get a lot of time. But once he goes to the left, go to the right. You go to the right and grab the box. And bring it to the left. Should be enough time here to bring it to the left. And you should be able to just jump up on top of the box as well. But stay here for now. And then what we can do. You should have enough time. But as soon as he turns left. Jump up. Pull the switch. So there we go. Jump up. Pull the switch. And then immediately make a break to the right hand side. He will spot you. But you should have far enough distance. That he's not going to catch you. And I tell you what. Lana has... As brilliant as this game is, God, she's painfully slow at climbing up stuff, isn't she? Although I suppose they're quite big. Anyway, continue heading to the right and it's going to be a little bit of a cutscene as we see our friends get made into pure baconated sausage pancakes. Making bacon pancakes. So after we've seen Mui, who is alive, well, 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 and uh, you know, um, all of these are making bacon pancakes, put it in a pancake, that's what you get, making bacon pancakes, I know I just butchered that, sorry Adventure Time fans, uh, but we can just continue heading to the right anyway, and then we will crouch under again, 
Uh, there are two enemies here, but they're not too bad, honestly. Uh, with this spider, wait until he goes to the right. And then you should have plenty of time to just jump up to this next platform. This next enemy can be a little bit of a son of a monkey. The timing is quite tight on this one, as you can see. I did get caught. So, uh, wait right here. Don't go too far to the right, because he can still spot you. Even though you are under the cover of darkness. So what we need to do then is, he's going to obviously go up. We just need, we need for this robot to go all the way back to the left. So wait, wait, as soon as he does, right, immediately go up, turn around, jump up. And then immediately go left and then go right. And then pull yourself up quick as you can and then crouch underneath. So as you can see, the timing was quite tight. I almost got caught once and then I did get caught once. With the amount of times I've had to replay this damn level. But once he goes back to the left, you should be all squared away. Jump up and continue on to the right. Let's do it. Let's save him. Let's save my baby. So, what we're going to do, drop down. You can just drop down again because the robot's not going to catch you. Uh, we'll drop up. And we're going to pull the panel off. And we are, first of all, going to take control of the magnet again at the top. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pop the magnet down. He can't go any further to the right, but we actually need to wait for this robot. So, um, uh, yeah, hmm. Oh, here he comes. I thought it was going to be longer than that. Press the right trigger, of course, to pull him up. Grab him and put him into this little empty box. Now, when, you, when you've popped him in, uh, hold the X button to get off and then immediately start making a right, a beeline to the right. Should give you absolutely plenty of time anyway, uh, just as long as you've started running to the right pretty much straight away. Uh, then we can have a little jump up. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, not a jump up, but we are going to uh, take control of the robot now. So now we've taken control of the robot, what we need to do is actually push the box from here, there it is, so there's the box. You do need to give it a bit of force, so either right or left, either way, but BAM! Look at that! Look at that, like a robot on steroids again. Um, but that'll do, so we can just leave the robot here, that's fine for the time being. He's not going to wake up again, and he's not going to kill us. Hooray! It's the little things, isn't it? So just drag the box all the way to the left for now. Well, not all the way, but just sort of in the uh, area where the box is moving in the background and stuff. Well, since we're here, I might as well tell you. Uh, <laughs> just, just there's fine. Just, just so the the, 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 got a stammer, got a stammer, got a stammer going on apparently. Just so the magnet can pick it up. That's what I'm trying to say. So grab the magnet, pop it in the box, and that will get Mewy out. Now we're going to start running again, all the way to the right hand side. So he's out, but um, we actually need the robot again. So we are going to need to obviously take control of the robot once again. And you're just doing the same thing you've done last time. Give yourself a good bit of momentum and then bang, smash, wallop! Aw, yeah! So we have been reunited with our bestest buddy. And we'll get the achievement there. Back together again. Na, 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 na. Couldn't split up Kato and Nash. Couldn't split up Tango and Cash. That's also true. This is our song of exultant. Sorry, getting a bit tenacious D in my head right there. So what we need to do then now is put Mui on top of the robot. This bit, if you've been having problems, I hope you haven't been having too many problems with the robot and controlling him because we've got a bit of a... A tight section to do ish here. So flying up and press the button. Now, obviously, what you're going to not do is try and hit the electrical current. So go to the left, push this button. So obviously, you know, just keep flittering with the right trigger and, you know, just take your time with it. Really, no need to rush. So your head down, we're going to head up. So again, get yourself sort of in a good position, straight in the middle. 
So we can get up, push the button. Don't think it's all over yet. We need to go to the right now. And then push this button. And now we need to go down and then left. Now it's a little bit tighter down here. So just take your time. Like I almost didn't. and almost got fried. So it's a little bit tighter. But just take your time. And then just go straight through. And then that is the... <laughs> thank God. That's the last one. So I died the first time. Managed to reload my last checkpoint. Um, but yeah, this was... Quite an annoying part for me personally. Um, I just kept I was a bit too ego with the right trigger uh, So I kept almost messing up slash messing up. So anyway once that part is done We can now pull the grate off and continue our merry little way to the right But not for too long. It's not that fun. We're gonna jump over to the other side We're gonna start dropping down do not jump down again. That will result in your death wall jump to the other side But pull yourself up and then jump to the other side. Because if you decide to do a wall jump from there, you will actually fall straight to your death again. Jump to the next right, and then... Yay! Now we've just got a lot of walking, and a lot of walking to do. So, enjoy once again the skennery. Now we're into the big boy gardens, just watch out, there are a couple of gaps coming up here and now that we need to just jump over, so make sure not to fall straight down. Yeah, there she is. Our sister! Hooray! Right, let's save you. And of course, that's not going to happen. So, when we can regain control of Queen Lana, we're going to sprint immediately to the right. And again, we're going to drop down and somehow, even though we've probably died a few times from the tiniest falls, this pit didn't matter. So, when we drop down here, go immediately to the right, just slide down again. Then from here, we're going to go right and crouch under. So spider boy can't get you jump onto this platform and then jump onto the next platform and jump down So drop down here. There we go go to the left this time and crouch under again And then just drop down onto the slide and then run run as fast as you can you can't catch me I'm the Lana bread man all the way to the right So, this is it then. This is like the kind of final boss room. Um, now, 
the timing, once again, can be quite tight on this one, which honestly killed me both the last time. In fact, I was a bit eager the first time, and I um, didn't make it in time the second time. Uh, so basically, it's like this big giant ball of light energy, and he will sort of charge up and release like a big energy bomb or something, big beam of light. Obviously, the light can kill you. Uh, so you need to be quite, you know, again, you can take your time. There's no need to rush like I tried doing because it just doesn't, it just doesn't help. So here's the big white ball sack of energy. <laughs> And then, so what we need to do then, go over to the right, we need to put Mui up to the top. Push the button, and as soon as he pushes the button, immediately press the B button to get him back down. So, jump him back down and immediately go into the right hand side. So that you're both under cover. Because as you can see, he's going to start pr producing this big beam of light. Get Mui on the button there to the right hand side and press the Y button to open up the floor. Immediately, or just take your time, but you can jump. Press the Y button to close the uh, floor again. That will give you some protection. Now, as soon as it's done, press Y, jump up. And as soon as you jump, press the Y button so that it closes quicker. So the timing for that one can be quite tight. And then jump up to the left and head to the button. So again, like I said, I kind of rushed that. That's because it was my third time doing it and I was just annoyed. Um, but obviously take your time, do not rush it. So when the light is done, immediately jump down to the next path and press the white button to close the floor. And then as soon as we jump up, it will be an automatic cutscene. Now this will be the final quick time event where you'll have to do a lot of button mashing if you've got the quick time on. So just do a lot of button mashing. If you haven't, again, like me, this is just going to be, again, one long cutscene. So, yes, um, it's... This part can be... Not this part, but the part just now can be very frustrating. Just because it was... Uh, just because of the timing of it was very frustrating. I literally didn't press Y for, like, one second. Or I pressed it one second later to close the floor, and that was it. And the first time, I was a bit too eager to open the floor and got killed by light. That's why you need to, to wait until it's completely dark. And job done. So anyway, this for the next couple of minutes is going to be one long cutscene, boy.
In fact, actually, I almost, um, during that last sort of electrical ball boss battle, I did almost fall off the platform. In fact, I did fall off, but luckily, I managed to restart the checkpoint so I wouldn't have to play through the entire chapter again. It wasn't a bad chapter, you know, the first time through. Very fun, but, you know, after three or four times of having to do it after, what, 25 minutes, half hour for a chapter? You're gonna have a real bad time. So, that is basically the main part done now. That's the main story done. You should now only have three achievements left. And they should be for completing the game. Completing the game without dying and getting 100% of the achievements done. Um, which, of course, if you've been following along and you've been just replaying chapters if you died or restarting checkpoints if you've died, then you will get the achievement at the end. But this is... We are back in the village now. Everyone's back in handy. Uh, handy and dandy. Obviously, we're just continuing on to the left. There's our little friend who apparently controls all the robots now. And he's a nice little kitty. Who's a nice little Pikachu? Pikachu. Uh, there you go. Look, everyone's friendly now. So, everyone's a winner. So, all we're doing, you literally just got to continue heading to the left. Um, you can see all the happy people. And, yeah, it's all good. By the way, for this cook, you can just walk straight past this time. You don't have to uh, <laughs> crawl past her. Pasta, pasta.
and then back into this area. We've done this a couple of times, haven't we? So you pull the logs to the left, of course, jump up and jump up to the left as quick as you can. And that is going to be the end of the game. Na na, la 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 na. And look, I only made the uh, what's Lana spell backwards joke about four or five times. That's quite impressive for me, if I'm being fairly honest. <laughs> So here we go then, you're going to cut your sister, you're going to, oh sorry, hug your sister. Uh, only Welsh people know what a cut is. Uh, cut is basically hug. Yeah, that's all it is. But you're going to give your sister a big cut and be like, hello. And now you should get all three achievements. Home sweet home, flawless, which is always a paranoia one, isn't it? If, uh, <laughs> um, if it doesn't pop up or if it takes a while to pop up and then you should finally get the 100% complete achievement, and there we are. Look at that. Stunning. So there we go then, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, big shout out, as always, to all my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members. Thank you, honestly, guys, ever so much. And I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. B -b 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 big, notorious big love.